And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Fiora Garen. It's going to be our next deck. This is one that I put together today basically because I just think the Demacia cards are really good. We played against a lot of aggro yesterday and I think that Demacia can do a good job of slowing down the aggro decks. And still even against like your ramp decks, um, I like the challengers being able to kill your like O2s and O4s, like those kind of ramp cards and trying to get in um, enough damage. I think it's powerful enough to race those kind of decks as well. So I think that Demacia could be in a pretty good spot. So I want to try out this version, um, new version where I'm going to be splashing Targon with um, having Pale Cascade as basically the reason why I'm splashing uh, Targon because it's just a really good trick and, you know, draws a card, which, you know, Demacia doesn't have a whole lot of card draw. So having a, a really good efficient card that also draws, definitely worth it. Um, and then we're just playing another one drop in here with Solari Soldier, a couple of copies to go along with the Fleet Feather Tracker. So yeah, we got Tracker and Solari Soldier at one, Bright Seal Protector Warchefs at two, Fiora and Protege at three. We don't really need the full three copies of Protege because it does kind of um, take the same spot as Fiora. They're both three mana challengers. Um, so we're just going with, with just a couple of copies. And then of course Bannerman, because we all know that Bannerman is awesome. And I just think that Garen is, is really underrated and Garen's a really strong card. And so we're going to be going with Garen with the full three concerted strikes and a single combats. I've been liking Screeching Dragon. Going to be trying also a couple of Screeching Dragon. This this could be Grizzled Ranger here if you want something a little bit cheaper, if you want two four mana cards. But I think that um, I'd rather have the challenge with the Screeching Dragon. So going to be going with a couple of that. Obviously the Genevieve Elm Hearts, that card's amazing. And then a back to back to finish it out. So let's give this one a try. Let's let's see how Fiora Garen does. Um, we're gonna go play our five games in ranked. Um, yeah, I think I think it's you, Kordak. I think, but I'm not sure. Yeah, Twisted Swain is one of the top decks. Um, Trundle, Trundle, Aurelian Soul, the Ram Control is very good and then a lot of people are playing kind of smaller aggro decks um this is the same regions as as twisted fate swain uh but it's just more aggressive with misfortune and gangplank and a lot of people are getting more aggressive to try to get underneath the trundle of really in soul deck um i like these cards i'm gonna keep them but i've had some some people from youtube that have been wanting to see the um the Twisted Fate Swain deck for a little while and I haven't gotten to it, I so I wanted to make sure to get to it. It's pretty big keeping them from attacking So I, I want to keep my other body in play with Bannerman. I'm basically just just challenging there before that thing dies. But because of Bannerman, I want to keep these bodies in play. Like a fish in water. <laughs> a symbol worth fighting for. Through the coral. <laughs> <clears throat> would have liked to play Fiora first so that I would have had um, Garen plus single combat, but I think it was just too important to get the Bannerman down to go ahead and block, or like have blockers for the 2-1. Now basically any of these plays I like, I think we're not going to go Bannerman. We're going to go either Fiora or Garen. Garen is awesome, but I do like having the single combats available. Okay. <laughs> but they just weren't having it. I mean, we were... We had a very high chance of winning that game from what our hand looked like. So it's not something that's really on my radar, to be honest. Thanks, friendy. <laughs> Alright, Yud. Enjoy your lunch. 
Karma Ezreal, we're going to... I mean, I like Screeching Dragon. Ugh, we don't need two fives. Good. War Chefs is good. I like having units that don't die super easily. That's why, like, like even, like, Flea Feather Tracker is not that um, desirable here, because it does die very easily. Well, that's a very good gotcha for them. Very good gotcha. I know I could have got the three damage in, but then I like I get three damage in, they can like safely play Ezreal. Um, I want them to do something with their mana. This was the this was the worst case scenario, but still not that bad of a case. I long for a worthy opponent. So not sure if I'm supposed to be trading. Kind of feel like I don't have to. Going with the going with Solari Soldier for the yeah, just for that upside. I mean I don't think you know, it's just the two of them. I don't think it's that big of a deal with Bannerman that and I think that the I think that the ability to play it and it be a three three immediately is going to be more valuable to me um, over the long long term. I, I think that is a pretty pretty good upside. There's a there's a big difference between a three three and a T two. Do you have the back up Garen? Do you have the extra Garen? Why have we never sparked, Yura? The outcome was obvious. I wonder if they're gonna try to sneak in Karma this turn. Good card. The order rewards its faithful. Raise the banner, lift our spirits. We stand strong. Night falls. There's going to be some difficult cards to to deal with on their side. Bannerman, you did good. The quiet of the woods does nothing like it. All right, and we got Concerned Strike or Fiora's Repost. The dark beckons. Their pride will cost them. They obviously have just a ton of cards over there. Yeah, I like Lucian a lot too.
Okay, so that's their second deny, because they did discard a deny earlier. Yeah, I guess that's a card. I didn't really think of that card, so I guess I could have done that during combat. Don't blink, or you'll miss me. <laughs> You're covered. You just give them the choice. But yeah, I mean, they, they will be blocking. Fire. You give them the choice of how to block and everything instead of the other way around. Instead of you having the choice. Their pride will cost them. <clears throat> so 12 mana. Should be doing pretty good. I do like how we get to to cast. Do you like how we get to cast all three of these back to back? Repost and Pale Cascade. That should be game. I was just nice and patient and didn't let cards like Static Shock and Mystic Shot like really get that good of, you know, value. Didn't really let them do very much with them. Let's just do more damage, because we can. Alright, 2 and 0. Oh. I know this this board has a l louder music than the others. Should I go should I go turn that down? All right, day and night. I'll keep Garen. Garen really good. And I like how we have a couple of things to play early. So it looks like just a pretty decent hand to keep. We'll go War Chefs, of course, first on turn two. And then turn three, we can have Bright Steel Protector to protect War Chefs. And then also have Pale Cascade or Single Combat. Alright, we're good with the music volume. Thank you. Maybe I should have played Fiora here and changed my turn after drawing Fiora. I didn't really change my, my turn at all. Alright, so we're going to... Um, there we go, just do this. So I could single combat and kill that 2-2 for free. But honestly, I think single combat is better than a 2-2. Like, you know, I'd, I'd be trading my single combat for a 2-2. And I I don't think that's really that good of a trade, especially with having Garen later that we want Garen to be able to strike. And it's just, like, it's a 2-2. I'm not scared of that. My faith protects me. There we go. All right, not a card that I, you know, don't love seeing this quick attack challenge. If they have a Pale Cascade also, that's going to be trouble. Playing the Fiora here, hoping to have Fiora single combat and kill the Diana. Um, this attack is kind of telling me that they have Pale Cascades. I don't, I don't love that. 
Um, but even if they pale cascade Diana here, that's just, um, you know, they still trade. Of course, they get to draw their card. But they still trade. And we get to eat this thing for free. But that's pretty cool. I could have simply just gone with my Bright Steel Protector fighting the Diana and just not worried about the Bright Steel Protector surviving instead of playing the Fiora. You cannot stall touch. Alright, one strike for Garen. We are going to be relying on this Garen pretty heavily, it looks like. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to have eight mana next turn. So even if they... So, you know, I can challenge the Robin, and then if they go... They go Pale Cascade to try to kill my Garen. Oh, I guess we wouldn't be challenging. We'd be... Wait. Okay, now we got back-to-back. -back. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Which is good. Awesome. Glad they played that other hush. Go here and at least trade. Alright, so leveled up Garen and they are at six. Everything I've worked for. We must not relent. That works out, especially how that was our attack turn, so now next turn is gonna be their their attack turn, but we'll still get an attack token as well with our Garen. Darn, they had another blocker. Alright, Garen, still counting on ya. Ours is the one true light. Basically, just turn this into the abyss. This game is pretty awesome. I hope you give it give it a try. If you're you know, from from Magic, uh, very easy to get into. Don't have to spend nearly as much money like you do with with Magic. You can earn the cards, and uh, and the games are really interesting. Close. <laughs> yeah, there's no Teferi in here. True. Feel the heat up, friend. No mercy for heretics. This is the I wanna just so basically as you can tell I've been attacking right away. I don't want like Leona to be coming in and um, You know, stunning things. Don't want them stunning my Garen. I guess they could get another one of those deal four and deal one cards, so maybe we shouldn't play tracker until we see what this card is. Just going to save Concerted Strike. We are at 12. It's 
But you still can't believe they printed Teferi. It baffles you two years later. Unyielding light. Yeah, it was definitely just a response to the mistake that was Wilderness Reclamation. So they tried to print something um, to deal with that and just, just print something way too strong and, and affecting much more and many more formats than what they realized that it would. I hate how this is only going to kill this one too, and not anything else. Yeah, Oko was the worst design mistake they've made, I agree. I mean, printing Oko was just flat out ridiculous. But it shows you when you have a game that you don't, you can't change any of the cards, you just have to... What once you have to deal with cards that are way too powerful for a long time, and then they just get banned. Instead of like Runeterra, where... If something is too powerful, they just change it. It's a lot of elusives. I was hoping they would attack with one of these. I don't know why they would and the, uh, be able to judgment and everything. That would have been really nice. Scared of Leona again. Alright, not letting them gain that life. That's the card that Solari Priestess created before. Now I'm out of now I'm out of Garen's. That's a big hurt. That hurts quite a bit. I used that Garen's judgment. Garen was good, couldn't deal with the elusives. Especially that single combat on the Diana turn. Should have just single combated with my 3-2 and not not tried to use my Fiora. When you know then they fell cascade, kill my Fiora. Fiora would have been a great card to have that whole time. Mm. Not the best of hands so far. Only a war chefs to play early on. No, I haven't at all coded. Okay, got another Bright Seal Protector. That, that'll be good on defense, which is going to be important. Yeah, they have no mana? Okay, yeah. We're going to make that attack. I think, you know, like, we don't want to make that attack if they have two mana and they could, like, block with the Bark Beast and Glimpse Beyond the Curse Keeper. And then their bark pieces are 3 3. That's just the dream start. That is the dream 1 2 3. Especially with having the attack token on turn 3. Um, yeah, it honestly doesn't make any sense to play anything else right now. We're just going to be taking millions of damage. <laughs> Which 
interesting. So down to eight. the 1-1. One, one. I was hoping they were going to block with the 4-3 and then I'd single combat down the 4-3 and keep my warships alive. It's a good block with just the 1-1. One, one. Um, so we'll just leave this and next turn I'll be able to have Garen with single combat. With the Garen. Yeah, THJ, great game there. Uh, last game, GG's. Shark Chariots from the Warden's Prey. But Warden Prey, that's why Warden's Prey is just really good. I use that card quite a bit. I'm sure if I really like Genevieve Elmhart or Bannerman more. Alright, if I go Solari Soldier, then Bannerman. We're gonna do that. Then I have four mana, so I can either have Repost or Single Combat. Raise the banner! Lift our spirits! We stand strong! Gonna be challenging the Bark Beast. First. Yeah, I guess atrocity is a thing. That's true. I guess I probably shouldn't repost the Bannerman because of atrocity. So I guess I shouldn't attack to the 3-3. Three, three. Attack with the 3-3 three, three so that then we can combine back-to-back -back single combat, be able to take down there, they who endure, before it does any damage to me. Which I guess I probably needed to just back-to-back -back first, because they could have just gone no blocks and just taken 10, and that would have been bad for me. Because I'm at, I'm at 10 mana, so I guess I could go... Okay, actually what we can do now, we can just repost here. Let damage happen. And then single combat and fight with the repost. So I, I still have the barrier to protect the Garen as well.
Awesome, no vile feast or anything like that. Smell that? A bite to cook it. All right, GG's. Three and one. Man, Garen is so good. Justice triumphs. Hey, <laughs> yeah, Delta Cruise. That's why. That's why I was like, you know what? We need to play some more Garen. Okay, we're playing against Garen. I mean, I like all these cars, but I also want cheap units. Those are good cards, but we we have a lot of good cards in our deck. I want Fleet Feather Tracker. Darn. <laughs> Fleet Feather Tracker, you're a little late. Late to the party. It's dangerous out there. I needed you. This. I need you on turn one. I mean, they just would not have played the Battlesmith. But yeah, definitely need to get that Battlesmith the out of here. Soldiers worth ten foes. Oh, but now my Fleet Feather Tracker doesn't have Challenger. What am I doing? I was thinking, ah. And now they get another unit with the bonus in. That's the worst one for me to see too. That's two bonuses. It's my fault. Combination should save everything. It's a clutch Rangers resolve. It's a good pale cascade trading up and drawing me that card. Uh, so definitely a good turn, but they still have a lot of cards in hand. this game up by not by not playing tracker first that other turn to let them get these things being three twos instead of two ones so we'll see if that does cost me my strength is yours Don't have single combat. I guess they're gonna have single combat, that's what it looks like. Yeah, I mean that's that's what this has to be, a single combat.
Okay, well that gives me open board here for the Garen. So that's good. Kill that thing. This should just be game, I think. We're gonna kill that thing. We're going to kill this thing. And then we'll be able to go right to attacks, have repost, and that should just be lethal. It wasn't the cleanest of games to start with, but uh, we basically just the, the one turn turn uh, three. Besides turn three, we cleaned up our act afterwards. Um, but yeah, I like Pill Cascade in here. These Demacia cards, of course, are just awesome. Uh, anything that can get us, you know, helping us curve out and stay aggressive and get ahead and all that kind of stuff, but then also draw cards. That's why I really like the Pill Cascade. Um, and I think as, as just a two of Solari Soldier is perfectly fine. It didn't cost us with missing a Bannerman ability, um, but there are a lot of fearsome decks running around. I like this as like a first blocker, those kind of things. Um, but then also we saw it like one of the games. It was a it was a nice four four after playing. Like I, think, I don't remember what turn it was. Turn five, turn six, something like that. Playing Solari, I think it was turn six. Playing Solari Soldier, Yo six, and then Bannerman made it a nice 4-4 attacker for the one mana. I, I like that. I mean, I think that that's... I think 5, you're, you're still good. Uh, but there we go. So that's that's Fiora Garen. 4-1. Um, Great record there. Those of y'all... Uh, you would have buffed Garen. Okay, in case they would have had Purify. Oh, that's a good call. That's right. So that's a good call of like that last turn when I reposted... The Solari Soldier, they could have Purify. Good call. All right, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and feel free to leave those comments. Um, you want to play some, some good old-fashioned Demacia and, um, you know, just get a bunch of attacks in. Feel free to, you know, try this one out. Let me know how it goes. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.